Um, I suppose a bit of both, but I mean, I've probably spent more time studying GAN than applying GAN. Um, and the impression I get is that a lot of the, you know, the GAN fan indicators and things like that, I kind of get the impression they're not you being used or they're not designed the way he designed them to be used. And a good example would be those parallel lines that are brought out on the soybeans chart. And it's like, mm, something here doesn't quite stack up. I know something isn't right with the way a lot of people say, this is how, how this works, or this is how I do this. The problem is, is having read, you know, the books tunnel through the air, uh, 45 years on Wall Street, but also the courses, it's, it's almost sort of so cryptic that trying to figure out, well, how exactly am I supposed to use these tools correctly is almost impossible to, to decipher. Um, so I know intrinsically something isn't right, but I can't figure out what is right. Mm. So what do you see in the $1 trial? module one the thing with that is i suppose intuitively um i could imagine that if i used that on multiple time frames like i don't know hourly daily possibly even weekly or monthly you could kind of say well i know that the longer term trend is going to go in one direction but knowing that the shorter term trend is is rebounding, for example, and is due for a correction, then if I know roughly how what magnitude that correction will be, then I can get in to a trade in the correct direction for the longer term trend using the shorter term uh, kind of time frames to help with the timing and, and knowing roughly when will it will it turn. I think the, the, the problem would be perhaps more to do with lack of experience or perhaps more accurately, lack of confidence. I, I do, because I think, as I said, I mean, I think a lot of the problem is, is having a system that I can have faith or confidence in to be able to go that whether it's right or wrong isn't the problem. It's knowing or having the belief before the fact that the decision makes sense and so i can have the the conviction to enter or indeed exit a trade and at the moment i don't think i have a system that is robust enough that i can go i know or i i have the conviction of why it is i'm doing what i'm doing so even if i have to assemble a system that works for me if the if that is assembled from parts that are tried and tested and kind of make sense then i think that would be a big um big turnaround for me i think <laughs>